thanks for watching. Yeah, it's a cold day today in the pine forest. Colder than it looks anywhere. Yeah, I've just set myself up a bit of a tarp shelter. Not sure if you can make it out. Just here. Yeah, it's a DD Multicam 3.5 by 3.5 tarp. Yeah, it's quite big. You need to get two people under here in a bivvy setup. Yeah, it's just a simple lean to that I like to do. Yeah, it blends in quite well, really, with the forest from a distance. I'll just give you a quick look at the tarp set up from behind. Sun shining through the trees there. I love days like this. Like I said, though, it is cold, colder than it looks there. plan for today is I'm going to be chilling out in the forest and I'm going to be cooking myself something perfect for days like today a homemade soup so yeah I've brought all the fresh ingredients out here I'm going to make it from scratch it's a really nice one as well one that you should try out I've brought my trichology chair out with me today yeah and I think every outdoors channel on YouTube's got one of these now haven't they I'm going to be using this pan for the first time today. I mean, I've had it for a while. It's the MSR Alpine Storeware Pot, 1.6 litres. Yeah, it's a casserole pot. It's quite big, perfect for soups and stews, that kind of thing. Not the lightest, 550 grams, but it does have a locking lid as well, which is really good. The handle just folds out like that, and you can keep some ingredients in there as well. Plus. Your transfer fits nicely inside as well. I'm going to be using one of my favourite combos today. That's a Tranger with the Bushbox XL. Frying some onion. Yeah, they're making a minestrone soup from scratch, which is a perfect soup, I think, for bushcraft while camping on cold days. So, yeah, there's an onion and a garlic clove in there. Just added some carrots and celery. Just added in half a tin of chopped tomatoes, which had paprika, black pepper, and salt. Now you want a load of tomato puree in as well. About two tablespoonful. Then add in some diced bacon. Yeah, there's no set recipe really for minestrone soup. You can add whatever veg you like in really. I mean, it's an Italian soup, and it's usually made with leftover veg. But they do put beans in as well, and they usually buy lossy beans, which I'm going to add in a minute as well. Yeah, it's really filling, perfect for the winter's day. I've just added a Knorr chicken stock pot. And I added 150ml of water as well, but you just keep adding bits of water as you go along. Depends how, how much juice you want in it, really. But I'm going to have, have it more like a broth. Right, so where's the bar lossy beans? You can add any beans you want, really. You can even add baked beans. Not sure I'll add them all. That was half a tin. That should do. Just added a sprig of fresh thyme. Just add some more flavour. You can just fish that out at the end. Camera's all steamed up. Yeah, nice peaceful day in the forest. Can't beat it. I always like to add a bit of this to it as well. Garlic Italian seasoning. It's just a mix of Italian herbs, really, and spices that are popular with Italian sauces and what have you. So it goes really well with this soup. So I'm just going to put a bit, little bit of that in as well, not too much. Just waiting for the transia to run dry. I'll top it up. Yeah, the soup's coming along nicely. 
they had a perfect winter soup. I mean, like I said, you can use any beans you like, but the beans don't really have any taste. They just they just take on the flavour of the soup. They just have they just have protein and carbohydrates, really. I mean, I won't be having any bread with this today because there's a lot of food to eat there. Just one person. Just got a couple of more things to add. Then I'm gonna let it simmer for a bit, and then tuck in. Yeah, I've just added the simmering to the trencher now. Last ingredients to go in. A red chilli, some curly kale, and you can't have an Italian soup without pasta. So I'm going to add some pasta as well. Yeah, just be careful not to add too much pasta. Because obviously it swells and it soaks up a lot of the juice as well. So you might just have to keep an eye on the, on the water. Add a bit of water as you're cooking it. Just can't beat it, can you? Just sitting off in a pine forest, listening to the bird song, cooking yourself a nice hot meal. Right then, dinner is served. Homemade minestrone soup. Tell you what, that's absolutely bursting with flavour. Perfect for a day like today. Just be careful not to put too much salt in because the bacon's got salt in as well, so I've hardly added any salt. It's turned out really nice. Can't believe we almost forgot the Parmesan cheese. Yeah, I can't wait to suck into this now. Chill and relax in my chair. Enjoy this. I'll put the ingredients in the description of the video. I'm absolutely stuffed after that meal. I wish I would have brought me bivvy bag now, my sleeping bag. But I stayed the night. Just see me set up down there. I have camped in this exact location before, in the past, with a tarp set up. The ground's not the flattest here though. But yeah, my plans for this year, plenty more wild camps. Plan to go to the Peak District again, Snowdonia, the Welsh coast, Anglesey. Yeah, I've got a few plans. I will be doing a few wild camps here as well. The only thing is in the summer months, it's almost unbearable with the gnats. But yeah, this time of year, up until May, it's a really good place to wild camp. Right then, I'm gonna get packed away. The sun's gonna be setting soon. That's me all packed up, leaving all traces always. 
Yeah, I really do wish I was staying the night. Perfect conditions tonight for the wild camp. Temperatures are dropping during the night to like two degrees, but I don't mind that. Don't mind a cold camp now and then. Right then, just want to say thank you to everyone who's watched, all my subscribers. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.